Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Robbie the Painter. I'm Robbie, and I feel so blessed that you're here spending your time with me. I appreciate each and every one of you. And a uh, quick shout out to my stepmother, Melissa, and my sister, Cameron, my brother, Vince, my friends, Josh and Sasha. Josh is a, an amazing bass player, and uh, he's my brother from a Puerto Rican mother, and uh, love him, love him. So. What we've got here is we've got our 16 by 20 inch canvas already primed with liquid white, thin coat of the uh, liquid white. Got my paint palette here with some colors and uh, I'll run those somewhere along here so you know what we're using. Using about, oh, I've got about six paint brushes on my paint palette. Um, the usual, some fan brushes, a two inch brush, palette knife, and a couple of liner brushes. And I think that's all we're going to be using. So let's get started. Let's grab our two inch brush. We'll come up here to some phthalo blue. And we're just going to tap our brush and get some phthalo blue on here. Let's come up here and do a nice sky. And as the blue mixes with that liquid white on the, that's already on the canvas, it's going to get lighter and lighter as we mix. Grab some more blue, maybe some swirls. Okay. Now we're gonna come back, we're gonna blend this. Just going around in circles with the two inch brush. Just blend this. Again, it gets lighter as we come down. Okay, I'm gonna dip into a little bit of Prussian blue, a little darker blue. up here into the corners and just add in both corners a little bit of Prussian blue just to change the flavor up a little bit back and forth nice and light okay Just give this one more. There we go. Seeing some of the brush strokes. If you, this is why I tell you always stand back and uh, look at your painting. If you're seeing something, you know, I was seeing streaks and lines, which means I didn't do my circles and get rid of those quite well enough. So everything's fixable. All right. I think we're going to have some water in this painting. Hopefully this will be a quick painting. Let's grab, let's grab some Prussian blue. Let's make the water a little darker. Just tap some Prussian blue, pull it out, tap it. We're gonna come from the outside in, try to make these horizontal, your brush strokes as much as possible. Outside in, grab a little more. Russian blue. Don't know where the water's, not sure where it's ending and, and that, but we'll just come up from the bottom. Okay, and then lightly back and forth. And I left a little <clears throat> area right here in the middle that's got a little bit of the white shown through. That might look like a the sunlight hitting the water when we're done. Okay, let's wash our brush. And we use, remember, we use odorless paint thinner or mineral spirits. I want to make sure it's odorless. Otherwise, you just you'll pass out from the fumes. You don't want to do that. Don't want you guys to pass out. Okay, and just give that. I've got some paper towels down here 
on the side of my easel to make sure that's, that brush is dry. Okay, let's grab a fan brush. I'm using a small fan brush. We're gonna go into some titanium white. We're gonna put some clouds in. Just loading up the fan brush on both sides. And I'm gonna use the corner of the fan brush. And get more paint on there. It's okay to put quite a bit on here. Just making little circles. We're gonna make some cloud shapes. And there is no right or wrong way uh, for the shape of your clouds. You do them any way you want. You can take what I'm doing as a guide and, and go off on your own. You can put as many clouds or as few as you want. You can, you can if you like the sky the way, the way it is, don't put any clouds in. It's, it's all up to you, it's your painting. That is the coolest thing about painting is you have the freedom to do whatever you want. This is your canvas, your ideas. I'll grab more paint. Just making little, little circles. And you have one up here. Using the corner, little circles. Just kind of these like little wispy streakers up in the sky. Something like that. Maybe a couple over here. Okay. We're gonna put the fan brush down, grab our dry two inch brush or you could use a one inch brush, either way. And we're gonna come right underneath clouds using the corner of our two inch brush and make little tiny circles. And we're gonna blend, leaving the shape, the top of our clouds alone. So this, this top shape of our clouds, we, we don't wanna get into that yet. So we're gonna blend a little underneath, making little circles. Come under this one, just a little blending. All these clouds we just put in here, leaving the top alone for the moment. Okay, wipe that off real quick. Not gonna wash the two inch brush, just gonna wipe it off. And we're gonna take and almost lay the brush on the canvas. We're gonna lift up very gently. Just lift up. And we're, now we're going through the top of that cloud and you're gonna get little, little streakers coming up, little lines where the paint was thick and it's pulling it up, that's okay. Wipe, wipe that brush off again. And here's where we come across very lightly. Just a whisper. Now, I think we're gonna come into, let's see, a little bit of Van Dyke Brown. Let's grab some Prussian Blue. Let's grab a little midnight black, pull that out here. Gonna make a little mountain color. Okay, gotta figure out where our mountain's at. And I think, I think 
Her mountain's going to be over here. We're just going to make a shape. We're just drawing a little shape with our, our fan brush. Just like that. There we go. Got a little mountain shape. We're going to take and pull that paint down. Maybe this goes off in this direction, comes that way. We're just pulling the paint out with our fan brush. We're going to come back with a two inch brush here in a second and blend this out. Just want to pull some of that paint out. Okay, let's grab our two inch brush. It still haven't washed it. We used it on our sky. And we're going to come up here again, just like our clouds. We want to leave the, the top of our mountain alone for, for the moment. And we're going to grab some of this paint. We're going to just pull it out. And this side of the mountain, I'm pulling down this way. And over here, I'm pulling this way. You can change this up and pull part of it this way and then pull down this way if you want this little hill to be in front of this one. You can, you can change the, the way the peaks look. We're just, right now, we're not worried about that. We'll fix that in a second. We'll figure out which one's in front, which one's behind. Just gonna pull some of this out. come up here using our liner brush we're going to put some highlights on this mountain and again you can do this with a palette knife or or a liner brush whatever you want we're just gonna come up here and touch our liner brush to the canvas here and there leaving leaving some dark spots. You don't want to fill everything in. Stand back, see how it looks. Got a hair right there. Come up to this one. Add a little bit of highlight to this one, just here and there. And then up to this big peak. Just grabbing some titanium white. And we'll figure out where this peak goes. Wherever you put the highlight on, it's going to look like a, an area that's taller. It's catching some sunlight. So I'm just going to dab some white on here. And again, like I said, if, if, you can do the Bob Ross uh, palette knife technique. You do that, whatever works for you. I have trouble making it look the way he does. Traditional painters will do closer to what I'm doing here where they're, they're actually painting individual highlighted areas and you know, they're going to take their time with it. I'm just sitting here randomly putting, putting white paint on here and that here and there. Try to make this a little quicker. So 
the episode doesn't run three hours. I don't think you guys would stick around if it was three hours, so. All right, maybe a little something back here. Actually, all right. So we got these little tiny hills back here. We can change that. Maybe they're a little bit bigger than what we see. We can turn them into a little bit bigger hill, bigger part of the mountain, another bigger peak. That runs down there just by highlighting. Right. Okay. I think that's good for a starter. Let's wipe that liner brush off and grab our palette knife. We're going to grab a little bit, little tiny bit of phthalo blue. Come over here into our titanium white. Going to mix up a little shadow color. And we're going to do the same thing that we did with white on, on this right-hand side of the mountain, we're gonna do on the left-hand side and put a little bit of shadow in here. Just here and there. And I'm just kind of squiggling, laying in some shadow color on this side. Stand back. Not too bad, not too bad. Again, when you're, you got more time at home and you're, you're doing this, you can really get detailed with your lights and darks where you're putting your shadow side. You can have some black areas, you know, there's little pockets of the mountains that are, that are really dark. Maybe under here, this, this comes right like that, a little shadow area. Okay, and this is just that phthalo blue and, and uh, titanium white mix for our shadow color. I'm just using that. I think I'm going to leave this, this one right here, how it's got the dark. I'm going to leave that alone. You make decisions on the fly when you see something that you like, leave it alone. quite a bit of this light blue paint, what I'm going to do is pull it down in the direction I think this mountain is going. All right. And like I said, you can, you can actually take some dark little pockets. So I've got midnight black up here. Let's just do a couple here and there. Little dark pockets.
just a couple. You don't want to overdo it. And back and look, it adds a little to it, you know. You may not want to do this in your painting, but I think it adds a little, little something to the painting, a little detail, a little point of interest. Okay, there we go. We got a mountain, we got our highlights, we've got our uh, shadow side, we've got some pockets in there. All right, with a clean, dry two inch brush, we're gonna come up here and make sure, just tap right here at the base of this mountain. Trying to follow the same lines that we we painted here. So if the, the mountain goes down this way, we're going to take our brush and tap that direction. If it comes down this way, we're going to turn our brush and tap that way. And then very lightly lift up. Just a whisper in this way, very lightly, and then back and forth. With a fan brush, we're gonna come into a little bit of sap green, a little Van Dyke brown, and a little bit of titanium white, and mix that up. We're looking for a, a lighter green. And if your color, mix it on the brush, mix it on your fan brush, because what you want are some different looking colors going on. We're gonna put a little distant tree line um, back here. So, just gonna to touch and go up and down, up and down with our fan brush. It's a new fan brush, I just bought a fan brush set. Mine were getting pretty ragged. And I have never used this one before, so we shall see. <laughs> see if I like this fan brush or, or not. Just gonna come across, grab a little more color. I like this green that we mixed up. So this is sap green, Van Dyke brown, and a little bit of white. Kind of a medium colored green. I'm going up and down. You notice they're not all the same height. You don't, you don't want to make your trees straight across like that. Now, if we were doing a fence, you know, our fence posts would be probably all the same height, but we're not doing a fence. We're going to do some trees, distant trees. We're just going to come across with these. Just might as well come all the way across. Don't know what, got an idea of what we're doing, but again, I did a painting similar to this for a friend. And I think we're gonna, we're gonna do something similar. Remember, paintings never always, you could try to duplicate something, they never turn out all the same. And you wouldn't want them to. Um, they're all gonna be different. similar but they'll, they'll always have a little something that's different okay now I'm just gonna take 
my fan brush and come underneath and squiggle back and forth. Give a little bit of ground for those trees to stand on. Right at the, underneath the base of these trees. Don't want to get up into our, you know, the tops of these trees. That'll, that'll erase it. We don't want to do that. Okay, well, I'm liking this fan brush so far. We stand back and we look, we like that. Let's take our clean, dry, two inch brush. And we're gonna tap the bottom. Underneath these trees, we're just gonna tap the bottom. And then very lightly come across. Try not to get down into my blue, or we're gonna probably have some water going on here. I think we're gonna do maybe another line of trees, a little bit closer. So, grab a little more Van Dyke Brown and come into that same mix we were using and just darken it up just a hair. So Van Dyke Brown added to that same sap green and, and the white that we were using. And see about darkening this up just a little bit. These are a little closer. Gonna have to mix up just a little more. So I'm going in sap green, grabbing some Van Dyke Brown. Touch of titanium white. Touch of titanium white. See, did I darken it up too much? Oh, I think that's all right. I think that'll work. And we're just going to have that end right here. Come across underneath, give them a little ground sit on some land. I think we can add a little dark here and there by these trees. Just squiggling back and forth. And we take fan brush, just lightly pull, lightly pull. And if you pull down, it looks like the, the land goes, goes down. We could come up, come up here, and that looks like it goes up. You can change the look of your painting at any time. I like it. I like it. Okay. I think we're gonna put a couple bigger trees. All right, we're gonna mix up. Isn't this fun? <laughs> Hope you're enjoying yourself. Um, little darker color. Same thing we're doing here with the sap green and the brown. And uh, I think now we're gonna add in, I'm gonna grab my palette knife, grab in a little bit of midnight black and bring that over our sap green, a little more Van Dyke brown, a little darker color. We're getting a little closer now. I'm not over mixing this color. I'm leaving a little bit of that green, a little bit of the black over here. So it looks marble. You've got several colors going on. Let's grab another new fan brush. These are cool. Kind of a copper color. 
I uh, forget what the company is. It says Artist Brush on it, so must be good. It says Artist Brush. <laughs> Doesn't mean I can paint just because it says Artist on there. Let's put a couple of closer trees, maybe we make a little mark using the corner of our fan brush. And we're just going to start at the very top and back and forth. And actually, I'm going to draw the trunk down just a little bit. Make the mark. And back and forth. We're going to get wider as we come down. Oh, I like that. Little darker, but not too dark. So it, but it stands out. Maybe one more. Right there. Start with the corner. Back and forth, back and forth. All right. A couple on this side. Just touching back and forth with the corner. Flip it over, get some more paint. You start running out of paint on one side of your fan brush, turn it over, use the other corner. Got more paint in it. All right. Nice looking tree. I like that. Okay. Maybe we can use our fan brush. I want to put in some bushes. And let's see. I'm just going to put in some bush, some dark color or some bushes. Okay. Maybe on the other side we've got got some bushes too. Put some of this dark color. We'll grab a little more midnight black, darken this up just a little. Darker. Just kind of tapping my, my fan brush. Just making some bushes right here. Oh, I'm getting down in my water. Well, since, since we touched the water with our bushes, let's go ahead and I'll flip the fan brush upside down. go. Just adding a little color into the water. I'm going to take a dry two inch brush. Make sure it's clean and dry. We're going to grab and pull straight down. Same on this side. Grab some of that color and pull it. Oh, I didn't, didn't add, didn't add my reflection. Okay, I'm wondering why I don't have enough <laughs> color in going on here. So we're just adding in some color into the water. Oh, 
Okay. Now let's go back to our two inch brush. Grab this and pull straight down. Flip over our brush and lightly across. Just a whisper. Let's grab our palette knife. Let's come into, let's come into a little bit of Van Dyke Brown. Let's just put some palette knife. We're gonna touch, uh, I need a little roll of paint. There we go. Pull the paint out and then get a little roll on there. I'm gonna put a little shoreline here. Some land underneath these bushes. And same on the other side. Let's pull. Grab some more brown, my palette knife. Just laying in a little bit of ground. Little shoreline here. Okay. Maybe this side comes down just a hair farther. You stand back and you look. All right. Now, let's grab a little uh, dark sienna, a little bit of titanium white. I'm gonna mix up a little marbled light brown color. We're just gonna lightly touch and give a little pull. Grab a little more. Lightly touch and pull. You don't wanna cover all that dark that shoreline we just put on. You just want highlight, this is putting a highlight on here. You just want some of it on there. Okay. There we go. Maybe this one comes out just a little farther, like a little, little cove back in there. I'm gonna put some highlights on these, uh, on these bushes here. And I think we're gonna dip into a little liquid white, which I have over here in my little pot pie container. A little tiny bit of liquid white. Let's grab some yellow ochre. Let's pull some of that out. And I just want to touch. Touch in a few spots. Give some color to these bushes. Touch there. Leave a little dark, leave a little space in between bushes and start another bush. We're just adding a little bit of highlight. A little bit of highlight. Stand back and look and see if you like what you're doing. It's not bad. Not bad. A 
Okay, a little more of that color. Come over the other side and put a little highlight on some of these. And again, hope you can see, I'll, I'll zoom in on editing, but you can see a little bit of highlight on the bush. And then I skip a little bit to, so you can see a darker bush in there. You don't want to put a highlight color all the way across or it loses the effect. You can't, you can't determine, uh, distinguish one bush from the other. So that's why we skip a little bit and pick another bush. Do one at a time. One bush at a time. Before we move on, while we still have that color, this uh, yellow ochre and uh, liquid white, let's put a little of that down in the water as well. Just the indication of the reflection of our bushes is down in the water. Probably should have done this before I put this shoreline, but you know what? It's all good. We'll make it work. Okay. Grab a dry two inch brush. I'm gonna grab this. Pull straight down very easily. Very lightly. This side. Pull it down. And lightly across. Let's grab our palette knife. Just touch it into the liquid white. And we're gonna cut in a little water line here. Here and there. And I'm really pushing into the canvas. You want these to be straight, horizontal, just like our water is horizontal down here. You want your water line to be the same. Grab a little more. And a little more. The water line back here. just liquid white. You could use titanium white. You don't have to use liquid white. Just what I grabbed. Okay, stand back. This needs a little more over here in this corner here. And if you keep rubbing it and, and pressing, if you get too much on there, it'll, it'll start to disappear. You can fix if you think you have too much on there. Maybe you don't have too much on there. You just want to change it. That's perfectly fine. Very nice, very nice. Okay, let's use the two inch brush. Come into this dark color and just get it on the two inch brush. Grab some midnight black, a little bit of 
brown. We're just going to put a little peninsula here. Something else that's coming out into the water. You can layer your painting something far away, or a mountain and the sky and the clouds, and then you've got a line of trees that's a little closer, and then you've got this little, uh, you know, hill over here with the, with the evergreen on it, and then you've got this one in here. Now we're adding another one. Coming forward, you can you can uh, layer your painting and really add some some cool things, you know. All right, all we're looking for is a little bit of dark here. That's a little dark. Let's mix up a little lighter green. So we've got that dark color there. Let's bring over some titanium white and lighten that up. It's got some brown and some black. We'll grab some more sap green and just we're looking for a lighter green color. I'm gonna try this old, I've got an old one inch brush. You know what, let's try this. Um, dip into a little liquid white and then come into that color and just tap a little. This brush is old, it's brittle. <laughs> got to clean it one time and uh, I don't know, it just, I haven't used it since. Let's see if uh, let's see if this works. Just looking to just gonna touch. Just looking for a little grassy area. Tapping and it'll soften it up a little bit. Definitely a different color. I like that. It's good to have different, you know, different colors of green and, and adding in the yellow ochre and and that gives the painting, you don't have all just one color. You know, you've got, got a lot going on. Okay. Not real happy with this one inch brush. There's a reason I haven't been using it. So I'm gonna set that down. Let's go back to our uh, fan brush. Let's go with that small one that we used to put on the highlights here. And I think we're gonna put some highlights on these bushes here. So I'm gonna grab a little cadmium yellow and add that to this green mixture. A little more white. Uh-oh, got some blue going on in there. It's all right. Bring on all the color. All right, set that down. Gonna dip into a little bit of liquid white with my fan brush. So I'm getting liquid white on there quite a bit. And then we're gonna come into this color and just run the fan brush through it. Let's see here, I use just the corner. looking to put a little bit of highlight on these bushes. Maybe there's something happening right out here on the end. Okay. Into this one. 
little bit of highlight, leaving some dark areas. Let's grab our palette knife. Let's come into, well, let's go straight. Nice Prussian blue, midnight black. Let's mix up a dark color right here. I'm running out of space on my palette. Grab some of that dark color. We're just gonna come under here, under our bushes. Add a little shoreline. Grab some more. Wipe your palette knife off. And let's, that color we used over here, we're gonna grab that again. That was a little uh, dark sienna and titanium white. And we're just gonna come up here and lightly touch and pull. Grab a little more titanium white. Want some different colors going on, a little marbled effect. Grab some more. Here and there. Leaving some dark areas. Let's grab our uh, medium sized fan brush. Let's go into some of this lighter green color that we mixed up, kind of the bush color here. And we're just going to add a little bit of greenery here down around these rocks, this shoreline here and there. Break it up a little bit so it doesn't look all straight across. There we go. A little bit of bushes you can take and pull up with your fan brush. Grab some of that paint. And tap underneath. Let's transfer a little more of that color down into our water. So we're going to grab that dark that's mixed up with the, the green and the the green and the white and the black and the brown. Let's put some highlights on these bushes that are reflecting in the water. So I'm just grabbing some of that lighter green color. We're not doing it exactly. We're not doing a mirror image, but we want it to look like the bushes are reflecting into the water. So pull straight down. Try not to get uh, got into our shoreline just a little bit. It's all right. Lightly across. Lightly across. Okay. Grab our palette knife. Get a little liquid white on our palette knife. Let's add a little shoreline. Here and there. And 
rub that one a little straighter. Maybe something up here. Right there. Let's grab our big fan brush. Let's come into this dark color. Oh, let's mix up a little more. Got midnight black, got some Prussian blue, little Van Dyke brown, just a dark color. Let's put a, let's put a big evergreen in here. Let's put it right there. Okay. Come up to the top. Back and forth. Put the brush over. And a little more paint thinner. A little bit of paint thinner, or I don't know if I added some or not into that color. We're adding a little paint thinner. Get it to stick just a little more. And again, I'm using the corner of the brush and just kind of dabbing it back and forth. This new fan brush is a little different, so I'm I'm changing up how I do this on the fly. Still basically the same principle, tapping back and forth. But this paintbrush allows me to do some little cool leafy things. Little cool leafy things. I'm not used to that with my other fan brush. Okay. Now we're down at the bottom. Let's go ahead and grab our two inch brush. Let's come into that same dark color. Same dark color. And uh, we're just gonna add some dark. Get some more on there. And just trail off right over there. And we'll just cover the rest of this up. Paint thinner. Very little. Shake off your brush. You don't want you don't want too much paint thinner. Oh, I think I got maybe too much. It dries fairly quickly, but you don't want your paint running off the canvas. Definitely don't want that. All right, we're almost done with this painting. I'm gonna add some highlights here, down here on these bushes and, and I think call it, uh, call it a finished painting here in a few minutes. Okay, I grabbed some violet and purple color and a little titanium white mixed up kind of a, a light lavender. I also took some alizarin crimson and some titanium white and I've got uh, kind of a crimson color here, a light crimson. So let's take our fan brush and go into some of this purple that we have mixed up. Just tapping Grab some more of that purple color and white a little bit. Really make it sparkle here. Stand back. I saw a bush. Yeah. Just want to make sure I'm getting, getting the right bush here. Yeah. 
you're probably saying, Rob, it just looks like a lot of brown or dark color on there. I don't see any bushes. Well, if you stare at it long enough, you will. Okay. Now, I've got a couple fan brushes going. Let's grab our, the bigger one. I also have uh, some yellow ochre and titanium white. And I'm gonna dip into a little of the liquid white just to thin this out just a hair. And I'm gonna come up here. And add a little bush right here. And right over here. Gonna be colorful. I think it's gonna be colorful. Okay. Maybe. Maybe while well, we've got this color. Add a little, little color right there. I see another one hiding in between here. So I'm just going to add some of this yellow ochre and white in there. And then maybe on some of these over here, we've got some of that color. And we'll put that on these over here. Let's grab our other fan brush that has that purple on there. I'm going to go into a little liquid white. Just thin this out a little bit. Just tapping, getting some paint on this fan brush. Let's see, where did I see another one? I think this one here. Got a little bit of purple on it. And maybe this one over here. And maybe we've got a couple purple ones. They're a little different. It's gonna hold my fan brush vertical. And kind of fan it out. Do a little bush that's kind of fanned out. Let's come into that Lizard Crimson. Grab a little Liquid white. And let's add a little, let's make a little bush over here. There's another one down here. And leave some dark. Leave some dark area in there. Add a little on this side here. Still have some of that light green color. I think we're going to dip into a little liquid white and some of this light green. I'm just going to come across here. I'm 
and some of this light green just underneath the bushes. Grab some more. I'm just tapping. up get some little grassy things going if it gets into your bush that's okay lifting yeah right there at the end I have something maybe a little more green a little more green. Darken that up at the base. All right. Boy, let's grab our uh, palette knife real quick. Let's scratch in a few sticks and twigs and start back here. We've got to finish painting. I think this one turned out pretty good. Let's grab our liner brush. Let's go into the purple. Come down here in the corner. And there we have a signed painting. Thank you so much for spending your time with me again. I appreciate each and every one of you Hope you had fun with this. I think it turned out pretty good. I like this painting. I would hang this on my wall. And if you followed along with me and you painted something similar, be proud of it. Uh, hang it on your wall. Give it, give it to a friend or a relative as a gift. Um, it'll bring joy to your heart. I'll see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.